I am currently in a long distance relationship. Uh, so as you can imagine, I am constantly uh, looking for a new relationship. <laughs> Not really, I do fantasize a lot about strangers, though, so it's just... <laughs> I got it, thank you. When you're in a long distance relationship, you have sex like once a month a ton of times. You know, it's like a reverse period. And there are some girls that grow up dreaming of their wedding and planning it out, their dress, their ring, and things like that. And there's nothing wrong with that at all, but it is always like a little bit fun to have to see her congratulate her friend who's just like unexpectedly gotten engaged before her, you know? And sometimes it looks like this. <sighs> Congratulations. It's a really pretty ring, so it's really pretty. <laughs> if I were gonna get married, <laughs> I would just want something small. So something, <laughs> something simple, you know, like a band. If it were just a band, it'd be kind of, it'd be just matching bands, no jam. <sighs> Like if my boyfriend, if he like, if he climbed up in a tree and got a twig from a bird's nest and wrapped it around my finger, I'd be kind of fine with that even, that would be fine, so. I give my boyfriend, we were walking on a date and he looked down and he saw a string on the ground and he bent down and I was like, and he's like, will you marry me? I mean, we're gonna like, um, we're gonna like to hear that. That's it. I'm sorry. Mm. Uh, like when, when my boyfriend, if when my boyfriend hugged me, he didn't just like pat my back three times when he was done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I really wanna plan a party. That's what I wanna do. It looks like that sometimes, I've seen that happen. My mom is back home where I grew up in the Midwest and she's a great lady, elementary school music teacher, uh, but she is very uncomfortable with anything sexual. You know, I think it's cause she's a virgin. It's just like, ooh, you know, it's uncomfortable. But she constantly makes inadvertent sexual innuendo. So like, if we're going through like a Dairy Queen together, you all have been, yeah? Hot eats, cool treats. So I'm going through and I order uh, a Reese's Cup Blizzard. Uh, That's what I get. And when they hand it to you, uh, the Blizzard, they like to turn it upside down and then give it to you like, what you're about to eat is completely unnatural. <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> yeah? See how it sticks to the cup? It's gonna stick to your ass. Are you okay with that? That's for you. And then it's my mom's turn to order, and truthfully, she said this. She goes, um, yeah, I'll take a uh, penis brittle part. Excuse me. <laughs> Mom, you may need a penis, whether it's brittle or not, you know? She knows that I like the word boner. It's a silly word, fun activity. And so on Halloween this year, she sent me a little card in the mail, like all moms do on Halloween. And it had a little skeleton on the front of it. And it said, happy Halloween, bon appetit, you know? And then you open it up and my mom had written in, or boner appetit to you. <laughs> What? <laughs> I think you just told your daughter she's got an appetite for boners. <laughs> so that's, and I do, I do. Uh, <laughs> but I never finish them. So I'm Beth Stelling, thank you guys so much.